to create a model first thing is to add a, a region say 20 by 10 millimeter the, this number is indicated the uh, image <laughs> resolution we should uh, with 20, uh, 10 pixel per millimeter and uh, you also <laughs> specify the gray level which can be from 0 to 255 however the 255 is reserved for the vacuum and all others can be used for different other materials in this case we leave its gray level as 0 then if you want to add uh, the other geometry features uh, for different material you can use these uh, functions to do that but for simplicity we only use one material then you click on material configuration and uh, you can add um, your new material and then input uh, the density lame constants and uh, if the material is autotropic you can input the number here and uh, if you include the damping input number here also if you want to use the piezoelectronic material properties you could click here and enter a number here however the in many cases you can choose the material property from the list of the library uh, this is the standard library will be loaded automatically and you can choose any one material from the list also if you want more options you can choose the, the other library say the cases of audio library and the, the inc also include the standard on which will be loaded automatically so now if we say we only use one material so use this water and then click add to model then okay in this case you need to assign the gray level to zero since the region we defined it is zero then apply and uh, we don't need uh, this new material so you can delete it click ok ok after finishing the material property then needed to add a source say add we add the one on left side say 5 millimeter long this will apply uh, place a uh, source on the left edge then you need to choose the waveform for longitudinal mode and the shear mode in this case we only use the longitudinal mode then you select the waveform from the a list of the predefined file or you can use the, your own waveform saved on the file say choose the file then you can preview it and you can change the signal duration to increase or decrease the frequency and also the amplitude okay now the model is ready to run click this icon to run the simulation well this end the, the simulation as you can see the model behind it they have become unstable so we need to set some parameter to correct it this is the time step scale usually reduce this number can make a, a model from unstable to stable so if we change it from 1 to 0.9 then we run the model again see okay now we get a stable result for this number as long as you can get a stable result the number is the bigger the better and the other parameter you may want to change is the simulation time you can make the simulation longer and also the display frequency in this case now it's uh, one that means for each iteration the result will be displayed on the screen we choose 10 that will reduce the display frequency 
by effect of 10. Now let's try to run the mod again. Apparently two things changed. One is the simulation is much longer and another is it's much faster because we reduce the display frequency. Okay, now we can add a receiver on in this model. Say add the one on the right five millimeter long. Okay, we put the receiver on the right side. You can choose the, to save the file that will save the all signal received on the right side to a file. Uh, or you can choose not, and uh, we can add, we can add uh, other more. Say we try to add one on the in the middle from twenty to ten millimeter. Okay, now we add the receiver in the middle. And you also can can choose the measure the displacement, velocity, acceleration, or pressure. Okay, let's run the program again. The program create uh, a new window, and uh, you can see on the left side it's associated with uh, this. S left, it's the source signal waveform come out from the source, and the one this is the middle is the receive the signal from the middle receiver, and this one is on the right side. As you can see, the signal on the right receiver is about doubled of the signal measured from middle. That because on the free edge the signal there are the two way one is come out, another you bounce back, is superimposed, then the amplitude is double. It's uh, consistent with the theoretical results. The next thing we can do is change the boundary condition. Say in this model we add uh, boundary condition on the top and cover the whole area and we only fix the longitudinal mode uh, on the top edge. Then we add another one on the bottom cover the whole area and also longitudinal mode only. So now the bound these top and bottom edge do not have a long, uh, the vertical displacement, only horizontal displacement. And uh, let's change the source signal a little bit, make the source uh, cover the whole left edge. Now run the model to see. Uh, the result indicated the displacement. It, there are no variation around the vertical axis. So we, by changing the boundary condition, make the 2D model simulating the actual the 1D problem. The another thing we can change is the boundary, the special boundary condition called the infinity boundary condition. This is in some simulation program we call the absorbing boundary condition. Let's say we put the one on the right side and then run the program. The main difference is that before the infinity boundary condition there is strong signal bounce back from the right edge. Now when the signal reach here the signal you can consider is propaganda onto the right for forever or the all the signal absorbed. Although there are a little bit signal bounced back from edge, that's mainly this the numerical error. 
and also if you look at the, the receiver signal since there are no bounce to back signal the signal come out from the right receiver is basically identical to the signal from the middle that is also consistent with the theoretical result uh, this is the end of the, this basic model